Hi, everyone. I'm Paula Krawas, uh, lawyer and co-founder at Porta Law. And I'm Erin Brandt, also a lawyer and co-founder at Porta Law. And we're here today to talk about a Ontario CEO and president of a hospital that was fired from his job for going away to somewhere really sunny and hot in the Caribbean over Christmas. So our question today is, was there just cause or no just cause for dismissing uh, this uh, senior manager? Uh, Aaron, what do you think? So employers have a right at law to fire workers for off-duty misconduct. So something that they've done in their free time that hurts the reputation of the employer. Um, in this case, the individual went on vacation when all of the guidance from the health authorities is stay home, don't travel internationally. And to have a leader uh, who is presumably giving this advice or participating you know, in the panels that are giving this advice um, to blatantly ignore it. Um, I mean, I, I think that hurts the reputation of, of his employer. And I think it also just, um, I think it reflects poorly on, on his employer and on him. Yeah, I would agree. And, you know, everyone, every situation is, is uh, looked at by lawyers on a case by case basis is what we call it, right? So this employee specifically is in the healthcare industry, you know, um, the, the leader of a hospital in a high risk work environment. And my understanding is that he was also um, an advisor to the government um, on COVID. So that, that's sort of the perfect mix of characteristics in a job, in a position that would make this type of conduct um, uh, inappropriate to the point of just cause for dismissal. Yeah, I mean, I just, I think it showed really poor judgment that, you know, the week that the vaccines are rolling out to leave the country and go on vacation when you are responsible for the overseeing the people that are rolling out the vaccine. So, you know, I, I think, you know, I think there's a, there's a complicating factor here in that, you know, the news reported that it was an approved vacation. Um, and so with respect to whether there's just cause or not, you know, if his vacation was in fact approved by his employer, then he might have an argument that his employer condoned his behavior and can't therefore rely on an argument that they have just caused to dismiss him. Um, yeah, you're right there, Erin. I think that we don't know all the information, right? So we can't really make the call about this specific person looking at the situation from a bird's eye view. You know, the turning factor is going to be, was there express permission for this employee to go uh, on this trip? Was this an authorized trip or not? If not, and the employee also, uh, you know, breached a direct order from the board uh, to not go on this trip, that's, you know, an added layer uh, for a just cause dismissal, in my opinion. But if it was allowed, uh, then the employer can be seen as, as condoning the conduct, in which case, my understanding is there's a big severance package there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, I think regardless of whether the employer condoned it or not, you know, I think it, as a public figure, I think this person showed really poor judgment and I think it's right to replace them with someone else. Um, but if the employer did in fact condone the behavior, then I, I agree with you, like a large severance package is largely coming, if not already. <laughs> well, thanks everyone for listening. Tune in to more episodes and leave any comments uh, below. Thanks. I'm a